Hi, I'm Steve Mathis. Welcome to Transworld Motocross How-Tos presented by Bike Bandit. Hi, I'm Steve Mathis. This week on the Transworld Motocross How-Tos presented by Bike Bandit, I'm going to show you how to change your clutch. This is something that probably every one of us has done, especially with the advent of four strokes who seem to eat clutches quite a bit. The first thing you want to do before you get started, what I like to do is take the fibers, get a little Ziploc bag, and basically what you want to do is I soak the fibers in oil. Not everybody does it, but uh, some people say that you can put them in dry. I like putting a little bit of oil on them. I mean, I put oil on my clutches when Tim Ferry won the first moto at Bud's Creek, beating Ricky Carmichael. So that's probably a good enough reason why you should too. All right, so basically lean the bike over on its side so you're not spilling oil everywhere. We've already done an oil change on it, so we don't need to worry about that. So it's got fresh oil. Pay attention to w which bolts you take out. There's some long ones, some shorter ones, so um, make sure you pay attention to that and simply take the brake pedal off and remove the clutch cover. Be careful of the dowels. Sometimes they tend to, tend to end up dropping in there. Now you can start changing the clutch. And so now that you want to take the springs off, you always want to tighten them in a pattern, in a cross pattern. So for some reason, I always take them off in a cross pattern. So, this is the habit of mine. Alright, pressure plates off, grab the plates as you can, get a screwdriver if you can to get down in there and help yourself out a little bit. They tend to stick together. Take the old clutch out, inspect your clutch, make sure the grooves aren't too deep on the basket or on the inside of the inner one. This one is good, but uh, if you need a clutch basket, you know there's uh, Hinson out there among other companies. And basically, uh, make sure everything looks in working order. Alright, so my fibers have been soaking. They're nice and lubricated. And you just want to start installing your clutch as so. And when you put your first steel or aluminum in, the debate rages uh, sharp side up or sharp side down you can feel them with your finger you can feel there's a sharp side and a dull side um, you can basically go either way but I do recommend keeping them all the same way uh, I go sharp side down that's just my preference but I, I've known mechanics that go sharp side up but again no matter what you do just feel the edge and be consistent and do the same for every steel or aluminum along the way. And with the extra oil that you've lubricated the fibers with, the uh, it won't hurt upon startup the first time you use it. And there you go, clutch is installed. Grab your pressure plate, drop it back in. Now for this clutch change, we're going to put new springs in, but you don't need to put new springs in every time you change a clutch. In my opinion, I would say every second clutch change, you could probably put new springs in. And this one has, has some time on it, so we're now going to put new springs in. If you've got really worn out springs or you want a little bit more clutch action, you could put a small washer in between the screw and the uh, spring. When tightening your springs, as I was saying in the beginning, tighten them in a crisscross pattern. And uh, that way it puts even pressure 
throughout the clutch pack and the pressure plate. Helps a little bit. And don't tighten them until you have them all snug. So just snug them down in a cross pattern way. All right, so the clutch springs are, are snugged up. We've got our torque wrench. The torque specs for this is 87 inch pounds. So just use the Kickstarter to put a little pressure on it and you can see the, now you don't have to torque these, but it's probably a good idea too. And basically use the Kickstarter to give yourself some leverage. I always like to get a rag because you're going to spill some oil here and there. Get a rag, wipe around the cases, get rid of some of that excess oil. Reinstall the cover. Make sure again that you put the right bolts. On this Cowie, looks like there's one long one and the rest are the same. So. You're lucky. I think on the Yamaha there's three there's three different sizes, but just tighten this back up and voila, you're ready to rip and tear with no despair. My name's Steve Mathis, and that has been the Transworld Motocrosses How-To presented by Bike Bandit this week.